In the animal world, the Komodo dragon is closely related to the dinosaurs that went extinct millions of years ago. Komodo dragon's scientific name is Vanellus komododesis. It is the largest living lizard in the world today, with an average length of 2 to 3 meters and weighs about 70 kilograms. Some can weigh more than one ton. Because of the biological characteristics that only allow Komodo to live in Indonesia, we will not be able to find these precious animals anywhere else on Earth. Komodo dragons inhabitat the beautiful island of Komodo, which is considered the part of the Komodo National Park, and the reptile is named after the island's place and name. The Bloody Battles of Komodo Dragons Komodo dragons have a very similar appearance to crocodiles, such as a round snout, scaly skin, and strong limbs and sharp claws with a long tail. Maybe because of these appearance features, the indigenous people living on Komodo Island called it a very special name, Ora Bayana Darat, which means ground crocodile. Komodo dragons are carnivores with a very diverse menu, from insects with extremely small size to invertebrates, birds, herbivores and mammals. As this carnivore is also ferocious and brute, many people have been attacked by this animal. With terrifying hunting skills and a powerful digestive system, they can eat up to 80% of their body weight at a time. Meaning a 100 kilogram dragon can eat up to 80 kilograms of raw meat. Oh my gosh, this belly of the bottomless barrel. Not only eating meat, but also chewing on the bones. Having eaten is to eat clean connections, eating from top to bottom and from inside to out. They even eat their own kind. Because life takes place only on Komodo, this animal does not have many enemies, and usually just larger animals of the same kind. Even adult dragons don't mind killing each other if given the chance. The dragon versus the dragon. Komodo dragons are solitary animals. They only occasionally gather around rotting animal carcasses or meat simply for the purpose of reproduction and maintenance of the breed. So, in the territory of the Komodo uncles, they do not allow a second person to commit crimes. Originally a ferocious carnivore, ferocious in drinking and fond of eating meat. So, when there is a shortage of food, fierce competition, the descendants of the dinosaurs are ready to eat their own kind. Do you see that Komodo's tongues is constantly moving. That is how they find their prey. This animal has a very keen sense of smell. And instead of using its nose, it uses its tongue to detect and taste the smelling air to sniff out its prey. The animal can even detect the rotting flesh of dead animals from a distance of 5 kilometers. The odors from the air are collected by the tongue and point it and bring it to the roof of the mouth and will send a signal to the brain and in addition, Komodo dragons can see up to 300 meters, helping to detect the movements of prey while hunting. The retina has only cones that can detect color, but are weak in dim light. That's why Komodo dragons usually hunt during the day. When prey is scarce, it is time to start a war. Two Komodo uncles rush into each other, as if signaling a fight is about to happen. If you have never seen a fight, you will think that they rush to bite each other and end when one is poisoned and leading to death. But not so. They fight with each other purely by strength, because their poison is only effective against other species. The match only ends when the one is exhausted and falls first. Number 2. The Dragon with a Crocodile A worm is returning to its nest. As it jumps back in panic, it turns out the culprit is this, that there is a Komodo dragon who took advantage of the mother worm's absence to bring into the crocodile's nest to steal the eggs. After confirming that the predator is a Komodo dragon, and identifying who her enemy is, the mother crocodile rushes to wrestle with the Komodo dragon. It is an extremely balanced battle, when both are equivalent figures. 
the skillful martial arts of each opponent were on display. After a while of fighting, Mother Crocodile, with her super wide mouth, chased the Komodo dragon out of her nest. Thinking like that, the crocodile successfully protected its cubs that had not yet seen the sun. But no, with the bitterness of losing the nutrition, the fatty bait, the egg thief decided to go back to rob this time the crocodile and it had prepared in advance. It seized the opportunity to give a painful bite in the mouth of the Komodo dragon. So my dragon was struggling to get out of this situation. And then, after a while of struggling, the Komodo egg thief was lucky to get out of the crocodile's big strong jaws. He quickly ran away before the power of the mother crocodile. Maybe after this time, the Komodo dragon will not dare to go near this place where there are worms. Number 3. The Dragon vs a Python On the grass, a python is hovering and groping step by step looking for food. It is quietly looking for meals for itself, without knowing what awaits it, maybe a hearty meal, but instead of a delicious food, it faces danger, and none other than the Komodo dragon. Still sticking out its tongue with familiar movements, the Komodo dragon has sniffed the food sauce. It is using its tongue to sniff out its prey, and a python was in its sight. It didn't hesitate to rush a surprise bite, and the Komodo dragon was able to latch onto the body of the python. It used all the strength of its jaws, tossing the python all the way left and then right with the force of what was not light. The python also did not fit with the advantage of having a soft, flexible, but muscular body that can roll into corn as it wrapped its body tightly around the body of the Komodo dragon, and then tightened its grip. This is a battle of perseverance. See which one is more resilient and stubborn. After a while of struggling, it seems that the victory is gradually leaning towards the Komodo dragon. The python is gradually lost its strength after the dragon's fatal bite. It must also be because the Komodo dragon have a very strong set, adding equipment that are sharp teeth plus gluttony. Like king cobras, they are also venomous. The venom forms in the form of a protein, secreted from two glands in the lower jaw, containing up to 50 different types of bacteria. A single bite can transmit toxic substances into the prey's body, because the bacteria in the saliva makes the prey susceptible to infection. The jaw strength, coupled with drool toxicity, will kill the prey even if it is a buffalo. Even if the prey escapes temporarily, after being poisoned, it will die, and even if in dozens of kilometers away, the Komodo dragon will sniff the place to find this corpse. Therefore, the end of the python is also in the expectation. Number 4. The Komodo dragon with a wild buffalo. Under normal conditions, the Komodo dragon's speed is only about 4.8 kilometers per hour. But when running the speed, it can go up to 20 kilometers per hour for short distances. Footsteps seem more confident as the Komodo dragon walks for food, and the prey this time was extremely large. In the swamp, a wild buffalo is lying face down in the mud, drinking water and resting. It was letting its guard down to the point where it didn't even care what was going on around it. Death is lurking right behind without even knowing it. When hunting, Komodo dragons do not chase their prey immediately, but will move stealthily and patiently. When prey is detected, it will move until about one meter away from the prey to increase the probability of success. When Komodo dragon was lying at the foot of the buffalo, the buffalo was startled, but did not run away. And the Komodo dragon still didn't give up, as its mouth is wide open, biting hard on the buffalo's leg. The buffalo was injured, and it may seem like an insignificant wound, but the venom and bacteria of the Komodo dragon's saliva cannot be ignored. The toxin in their body has an anticoagulant effect, causing paralysis and exhaustion, and just 16 milligrams of this species venom can take the life of a 40 kilogram deer. It seems that the end of the buffalo has been decided, but the other Komodo dragons also smell the food coming, 
and they are just waiting for their prey to slowly die. What an unlucky buffalo. It has become a meal for the Komodo dragon. Number 5. The Komodo dragon with a falcon. Unlike the last time, this time it was the Komodo dragon's turn to guard its nest. This time, it's the nest was continuously stared at by a pair of sharp eyes of a falcon. It looked at the eggs with undistinguished lust, as it perched on a tree top all day without any chance. No longer patient enough to seize the moment when the Komodo dragon was resting, jumped down to steal the eggs. And with great reflexes, the Komodo dragon quickly kicked the out of its nest. After the unsuccessful attack, the falcon returned to the familiar treetop, continuing to wait for the right opportunity. At this time, the Komodo dragon was highly concentrated, with heightened vigilance. It constantly paced back and forth, looking back and forth and tightening the security of the area outside of the cave. After seeing the situation gradually stabilize, the waves calm and the sea calm down as it decided to return to lie close to the eggs and continue to work of bringing baby dragons to the sunlight. Life really isn't easy, right? To be able to survive, sometimes aggressively attack, but sometimes you have to stay on the defense and stay alert and not lose your life like playing. Even if you are strong, you can still be defeated by those who think that you are weak and much weaker than themselves. Though, the video of Komodo Dragon Battles, I hope you will have a more useful information and broaden your understanding of the world of all species. There are many mysteries waiting for us to discover ahead, so please like, share and subscribe to the channel to see some more interesting side videos. And now, goodbye and see you in the next video.